Hello, welcome back. Anger is a real emotion. And sometimes it's just easy to label yourself as an angry person. But in reality, what if I told you that there is something really happening underneath the anger? It is not that you're just angry. There's something beneath it. And today we're going to learn more about it. If you're interested in this topic, please like, subscribe, or send it to somebody that needs to hear this message and you think they'll be very interested in it. Share the news, share the love with anybody that you think will benefit. Well, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jasmine. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, counseling from a Christian perspective, and I'm also the owner of the Oasis Mental Health Counseling Services. This channel is all about integrating faith and mental health and providing practical skills and understanding on the topic of mental health. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, anger is a big topic. Anger and angry people, we see them everywhere. And sometimes we see the anger in ourselves. And when you really look at it, sometimes the anger is scary. Sometimes the anger gets out of hand. And that is something that we don't want. Yes, acknowledge that anger is a human emotion is an expression that lives in us and that's okay but what we don't want is that anger gets out of line we want to set boundaries with anger we want to control the anger but how can you control anger if you haven't really defined what is it that you're angry about or what's underneath the anger it is very important that you question anger and say what is really happening what is your name really and for everyone, everyone is going to have a different answer depending on their background, depending on their experiences, depending on their mindset, they spent, depending on the exposure they've had. Anger has so many layers. But sometimes it's just easy to label someone as an angry person or even label yourself as an angry person because you don't know how to do a deeper work or no one has ever taught you or no one has ever sat with you to help you explore or to even listen to why you're always angry and it's frustrating to always feel angry but i want you guys to now explore with me and use your imagination and i want you to think about anger as an iceberg but the tip of the iceberg which is the top where everyone sees that's what everyone sees that's what you see that's what's being exposed and so many times when we see ourselves as angry or people see you as an angry person, they just see you from a distance and they just accept the anger. But in reality, there's digging that needs to take place. And what happens is, is that when you retrieve and you sit with anger and you ask anger, what is your name really? What's really your name? What's really going on? You're going to realize that anger is going to want to pop up as different emotions some of the emotions that you may vaguely see from a distance is sadness fear vulnerability is such a big deal and many times if you weren't taught to be vulnerable if you never got the space to be vulnerable if you've never felt safe to be vulnerable if that wasn't normal to be vulnerable it is natural for you to develop what you may be calling it or what we can call it today as a defense mechanism and we build this iceberg of anger but what everybody sees and what you see is just anger but let's sit today let's take a deep breath and let's explore what happened how did this iceberg begin to accumulate how did this giant iceberg begin it wasn't just all of a sudden you woke up and there was a huge iceberg. No. Time, experiences, exposure, many environmental things, many factors, many life stories, trauma, fear. All of these things began to accumulate to become what it is today, which is anger. How do I break this anger down? What do I do now? It is frustrating. How do I figure out what's happening underneath this all? Well, when this iceberg begins to be exposed, some of the things that we're going to be able to see is that you may be sad. You may be disappointed. You may feel lonely, overwhelmed, embarrassed, hurt, helpless, 
you're feeling pain, you're frustrated, you're insecure. The funny one is, you may be hungry, you may be grieving, you may really be just anxious, stressed, you feel threatened, you're tired, you're, you're feeling guilty, you're jealous, you're scared, there's shame. All of these emotions, all of these experiences, that they were just suppressed, they were buried, they were quieted, they were silenced, they weren't addressed, but now they're suppressed and all throughout the years and time, it became what now you believe it to be as just anger. This is what it is. But in reality, when you stop and take a moment to explore the possibilities of where this anger is coming from, what is my anger really crying out? What is my anger really trying to say? It may be anxiety, stress, grief. And so where, how do I know where this is coming from? What category can these emotions be leaking from? One thing I want you guys to consider is the holistic person. You are holistic. There is more to you than just one there. We are biological. We are psychological. We are social and we are spiritual beings. So let's break that down. Biological is your physical health, your genetics, what forms your health. Psychological is your emotional and mental well-being. Social is you interacting with others, meaning your job, your community, your friendships, your family, you and others, your, the way society, the way your social environment affects you. And spiritual, we're talking about the soul. We're talking about you, the eternal being. We're talking about your faith. We're talking about your relationship with God when we talk about the spiritual well-being. So when you break yourself down into these categories, I want you to ask yourself the question, where are my suppressed emotions? Where is my pain coming from? Which of these categories am I leaking from? And because these emotions and these experiences and this trauma from any of these categories are not being addressed, what's happening is that over the years, over the time, it becomes cold and it accumulates and it lumps up to become an angry iceberg. But today I want to encourage you to take some time to melt down this iceberg. Take some time to, like a, a, like a popsicle, right? When you take a popsicle out of the freezer and you expose it to the sun and you leave it out, what happens is that because the environment has shifted, now the environment is warm. Now the environment is exposing this ice popsicle to an environment which is going to cause it to what? To melt. To come down to what it really is, which is liquid. <laughs> and so today I want you to imagine yourself removing yourself from this freezer, from this environment of this is who I am or this is who they are. But when you look deep inside yourself and I, when you get angry, I want you to think to yourself, let me get out of the situation. Let me reach out to somebody. Let me reach out to a professional therapist. Let me go to a local church where they're preaching the gospel and connect with a pastor. Let me take a walk. Let me take an anger management class. Let me start praying. Let me start journaling. I want to explore. I need to talk to somebody. I need to confess a couple of things. And it is okay to break down. It is okay to be vulnerable. The word of God teaches us a good strategy to avoid these anger outbursts, to avoid just letting anger lead you. The word of God says, do not be quick to speak. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. This self-control benefits you. Because like we mentioned earlier, anger is really in us. Anger is part of a human emotion. We have the right to be upset about things. But what we want to avoid is crossing the line. And what does crossing the line mean? When we cross the line, when we allow anger to lead, 
what happens is that we hurt ourselves and we hurt others. And we don't want that. And when I talk about hurting others, it could be psychological, emotional, verbally, physically sometimes. And all of these things are not good. Let's not cross the line. Anger wants to be explored. You deserve time to unwind, to melt that iceberg. Underneath, beneath all of this, there are real emotions that deserve to be seen, that want to be heard, that need to be explored. Well, guys, I hope this was informative for you. I pray this was liberating for you, insightful. And if you need to share this with anybody, share it today. This is helpful. This could probably save a life. This information could probably save your life. Awaken yourself to the understanding that you're just, you're more than just anger. And you deserve to be sat with, to be listened to. You deserve to explore these emotions. You deserve to live a life of peace. Well, if you are here listening to me and you want that peace, the peace that really is everlasting is the peace of God. He is the one that gives us the peace that's everlasting and is true. In this world, we will have trials and tribulations. The word of God says it. God says it. But do not be afraid. God has overcome. So let's remove the pain by giving it to God. Let's explain our pain the frustration let's give God the anger let's put it in his hands because he is the only one that can give us the true peace he has overcome well receive it in Jesus name I'm so glad that you were here to be able to listen now it's your time to share is your time to share this news to anybody that you believe will benefit and begin to practice these skills begin to practice being still and allowing yourself to understand what's happening to me, what's underneath this. I encourage you to connect with a professional therapist who can walk you carefully throughout your journey so that anger no, mad, no longer is your identity. You're no longer wrapping yourself around anger. But the true emotions that are happening deserve to be explored. So connect with a therapist, connect with a pastor, connect with somebody who can walk you through this so that you can be whole, at peace, and free in the name of Jesus. Well, thank you for connecting today with me. It was a pleasure to be able to speak to you. Hope to see you soon. Until the next video, I have many videos on my page in regards to mental health and faith. So if this is something that interests you, please explore around, watch the videos, like, subscribe, and send it to anybody you believe will benefit. See you soon.